on, take a seat. We'll deal you in. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. My name's Mark. I'm a story artist. What we do is we draw uh, cartoons all day long. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the Lorax. Hey! Usually when I draw, I try to think of simple things. What we're going to do first is right here, real simple bean shape. And right above the bean, so I'm going to draw two more. They're a little bit bigger. They go right above it. So basically, you got like three magic beans. Very nice. Good job. I am so proud of me. The Lorax is all about the mustache. That's the most fun part about him. So what we do is I drew two giant leaf shapes. One over there. Try to make them big. Make them about the same size. And what you can do, add some fur on them. <laughs> Why do you have one of these? You don't even have a mustache. <laughs> So I'm gonna work on his head now. So all I do is I'm gonna think of one big shape on top, like a half sun, right? I'm gonna connect it all. Right over there, and right over there, right? Now we're getting to the fun part. Eyes, so like really cute animals, the, the bigger the eyes, the better. So you can start small, but like as I go, I just get bigger and bigger, you know? So two big eyes right in the middle. You can put white dots in the center of them if you want. The eyes are probably the most important part of an animated character. It says a lot about how they're feeling. And to help that, I'm gonna do some big old eyebrows. So you can do some big old hairy eyebrows on top. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off the body, and he's like a big giant bean himself. I like his nose, like his eyes. So I'm just gonna finish this big bean off. I'm gonna use the rest of the paper, and I'm gonna go all the way down here. Nice big round shape. Next thing, your arms and legs, right? Yeah. Yes. So what I do for the legs is I make a little V that way. I'm gonna make a little V that way. Pretty simple. And then we can do two Vs over for the arms, too. We do one over there. And we do one over there. And then what I do is I put kind of like curves in the middle here. They're pointy for the knees and for the elbows. And for the inside, they're round. <laughs> then, Add lots of these little tick marks. It really adds a lot of character. So now we're gonna do hands and feet. His fingers are all pointy, because they're furry on the end. Instead of fingernails, he's got fur. So what I think of is, I just think of like they're kind of furry. Same with the feet. You can just do some fur like that at the bottom. Then, for the smile. I like to put him with a big grin like this. And some teeth and a lower lip. A couple of hairs, and there you go. I think he's done. <laughs> ah, yes! Why don't you hold up your drawings, let's see what you got. All right, look at that. You guys, really good, fantastic. Thank you. Aww.